Hello students, today we will discuss about uh, the ninth video that means motion in a straight line, the four mass question. In the previous videos in this series, we have discussed about the physical world chapter questions that are two marks weighted chapter questions. Uh, and uh, in this video, and the previous second videos uh, have the second lesson units and measurements. And we already completed two mass questions in this chapter regarding. Uh, motion in a straight line so now the ninth video has 009th video we are discussing the motion in a straight line four most question physics intermediate junior 60 most question paper the four most question which in the chapter motion in a straight line can the equations of kinematics be used when the acceleration varies with time kinematics kinematics uh, we have to remember that uh, in the kinematics we cannot be able to see the force and mass that means the quantity, the derived quantity and the physical quantity, fundamental, that are force, the force acts on, the type of force will not be able to wave and uh, the mass of the body, these type of words are not able to get in this chapter, kinematics. So they are asking if uh, we can use the equations when the acceleration varies with time, that means uh, the uniform acceleration will not present uh, we, if we can use the kinematics equations. The answer is blindly no because in the kinematics we cannot see the force and mass. So how can we uh, use these acceleration varies with time equations? So if the acceleration varies with time, the force must be acting on the particular body. If a car moves with an acceleration 4 meter per second square, if a force, that means the brake applies means uh, some force is applied on the brake and the brake uh, drum is uh, applies on the car brakes. So the car decelerates, that means the 4 meter per second square acceleration will start decelerating. So these type of problems will not be able to see in the kinematics. So the answer is no. Because acceleration varies with time means force is acting on the body so in the kinematics force is not discussed and the mass of the body is omitted so if not so it is already known if not what form would these equations take if the uniform acceleration if the body is in uniform acceleration the kinematic equations are we can know the kinematic equations are v equal to v naught plus x at that means we can write uh, v equal to u plus at v naught means the velocity at the initial position that means the time equal to zero the velocity is v v naught that means it is also represented in u in our daily life activities v equal to u plus at now x equal to that means here displacement is taken as x v naught t plus s equal to u t plus half a t square that means here x equal to v naught t that means u it is uh, initial velocity initial velocity is uh, represented in the terminology v suffix naught that means v naught v zero t in plus half a t square and uh, third one is v square equal to v naught square plus here v square minus u square equal to 2as you can remember in the previous classes 2as means 2ax here the components are v means final velocity at any time v naught means uh, the velocity at the time t equal to 0 and a is acceleration t is time here x is called displacement v naught you know t time acceleration time here v square at any time velocity v naught square that means you can remember u square and 2 into a acceleration x means displacement so here are the equation kinematic equations uh, when uh, the acceleration is uniform and uh, at the time of ununiform non-uniform acceleration time we have to prospect the following equations they are same as it is you can write uh, here v v naught at no 
So first one is uh, as easily taken in a uh, uniform acceleration and uh, non uniform acceleration V equal to V naught plus A D and uh, second one X equal to X equal to here V naught T so V naught into T we can get the displacement V naught is there now so X naught displacement is X naught so you might not be understand this so speed equal to distance by time so here this is speed this is time st equal to d that means distance so from this formula if uh, s is taken as v naught t is taken as t so d if represented by x here v naught is there no so x naught so here x naught plus half into a t square so here the next formula v square at uh, non uniform motion so here same as it is li, v naught square plus 2 into a into here x minus x naught that means change in displacement x minus x naught so these are the uh, kinematic equations at uh, uniform acceleration and these are the kinematic equations at non uniform acceleration these are the simple, this is the simple question, we can get 4 out of 4 marks in motion in a straight line question and uh, remember this video has the uh, hashtag 009 in our physics series. So please subscribe friends and uh, like and share with your friends, comment your opinion on my videos in the comment section. Don't hesitate to comment uh, if you want to improve my video quality, you can suggest me in the comment section or if you want to do make me any compliment, you can suggest me in the or you can put in the comment section i will be very very happy please like it friends if you like the video and subscribe and uh, put on the bells icon in the all option to get notified in our every video uploading so thank you friends thanks for watching